I'm Judy from Witchpeacecraft. Welcome to my yarn adventure this week. We have Birthstone April Make Along Update, some mail, yarn chat and some finished objects. So let's kick it off with the Birthstone Make Along and an update for April. So we have quite a few colour choices in April and everyone is really excited about that and it's off to a flying start. Um, I watched Charm Granny Grammy Crochet's Lynette's um, video of her uh, square she's already done for April and she had a lovely story about her diamonds and I did share that in the make along group so make sure you check out her video and have a look at that. I'll still put the link in the description below for that any other channels I mentioned tutorials or patterns in case you want to track them down and try them or just check them out. So what happened was I've had a special request to add another colour to April, mainly because they see diamonds as grey and sparkling and they had grey and sparkling yarn in their stash and I thought what a great idea. We'll add another colour to April because May will be limited in our colour choice. So this is starlight spotlight yarn i don't know if you can see the sparkle in it it's a very light gray with sparkle and that's the sort of thing she's talking about that represents diamonds so you can use that color if you have it in your stash you are spoiled for choice in april with a make along it's been so much fun we have 101 people in our facebook make and roll group which is great we great the 100 it's really exciting and I keep everybody's name in a spreadsheet and each month pictures they post and the colour they use as a big spreadsheet so I can determine the most popular colour. And because we hit the 101 and everyone's really excited that April, I thought I would do a little participants prize draw. So what I did was anyone who posted a picture on Instagram or Facebook and you only had to post one, you didn't have to do all three months like January, February, March, I would do a quarterly prize. So I put everyone, even if you only posted January's picture, you went in on a spreadsheet and I numbered everybody's name and I put it in a random number picker and picked a person to win a small prize as a participant in the make along in the first quarter because we finished the first quarter. So the lucky number was 23. And the name was da -da -da -da, Karen Allard. Karen, if you can contact me by email, email will be in the description below and let me know. All you have to do is you can pick a pattern or patterns up to the value of $10 on Etsy and I will buy them for you to celebrate being a participant in the birthstone make along. And we finished the first quarter. I just thought it'd be nice to do something along the way. Um, if you don't use patterns, let me know in the email. I might be able to send you a small gift. I don't even know what country Karen's in, so you might want to let me know which country you're in too, Karen. But yeah, congratulations to everyone who's participating. It was just something I did at random because I thought, you know, I was so excited about how many people are posting pictures on Instagram and Facebook. So, mail. That, oh, my best stone project I'll show you I have done what I consider April I may do more I have done two rows of white four rows of pink two rows of white the idea of my blanket is I do eight rows and then I do two four and two eight rows two four and two and if I see a yarn in a nice cognac color I may do eight rows of cognac because I do love that color but so far that's my April section for my the stitch blanket for the make along. So mail. Now this is um, mail I ordered from a uh, yarn shop in New South Wales called Skein Sisters. They have a shop and they have an online store. I saw them on Facebook advertising that they were going to have 30% off one starting like 5.30 on a Friday night and finishing on a Sunday. And I chasing I was chasing knitting needles for a special project. And I checked them out and I bought some stuff. I did spend, oh, I spent a reasonable amount. They're mainly knitting needles and a lot of them. 
and they're all 40 centimeters because it's a small project but they're not the equipment I have in my equipment box so I do need them and I will use them again so very big 10 millimeter shy goos which you know I love and they didn't have the full range of shy goos that I needed in the sizes but I decided to shop in one place after shopping around I didn't want to get one from here one from there and pay all the freight I feared I would give Knit Pro a go. So I got 8mm in Knit Pro and 6mm in Knit Pro. Yes, these are all for one project. Including, I needed DPNs in 6mm and they had Shigu Bamboo, which I've never used. I have used other DPNs in Bamboo, which I do like, but they had the size I want. So, four sets of knitting needles. And that were $24.99 with 30% off for one project. I better like this project. The other thing I bought was, because I love them, I like to put them in giveaways or cards and send them as gifts to people, are uh, the Knit Pro wool needles. These were a steal at Skane Sisters and with 30% off just worthwhile so I just got those whether I keep them or give them away will be another thing also I checked out their yarn and I want to do a much more skilled amigurumi project before September that I have the pattern for and I wanted to follow the pattern and buy the exact yarn they use and I've never used it but I got and I may pronounce this wrong Schwetzky's Katona cotton yarn for this project in these colors these are 50 gram balls it's a small amigurumi project now i've never used swetchy's cotton i do have their wool, but i still haven't used it but yeah this is like a fine sports weight full ply and yeah i will be using this for an amigurumi project hopefully finishing it before september they put in there a lovely postcard um, with a message on the back that was really nice and sent me an email offering me 10% off my next order. Now, this was great customer service from Skein Sisters because I ordered it on the Friday night and Friday night they had a massive amount of rain and really bad flooding in New South Wales. So I'm thinking I'll have to wait a long time to get this order. But no, it arrived on time. These ladies still managed to get their orders out during all that flooding and bad weather they were having. So hats off to them. I'll put a link to their website in the description below. If you're in Australia, definitely check them out. If you're overseas, I don't know if they do international, but check them out. You can always find out. Skate Sisters from New South Wales. Big thumbs up from me. So that's my mail. Finished objects. Do you see it? Yes, I finished my 70s vest in the Lion brand. Where's the ball man? Somewhere on here. Maybe throw some things on the floor. I did have it. Oh, here it is. 70s yarn and the bag of day tutorial, which was number 677, the vest. I made it. I love it. It wasn't easy to crochet with and yeah but I now crystal makes a small to medium now I got five balls when I was in Townsville shopping at a steal my yarny godmother Janice sent me two and a friend gave me another one so I had eight balls now her tutorial called for six and it was a small to medium and I used all eight and made a medium and I actually I put a trendy old very old button I've had up there to loop it together and I made the V a bit deeper but it turned out really great now if you have allergies and this is acrylic and um, polyester it will irritate you it you get a lot of flying fluff I don't get allergies but I did get itchy eyes with this and it is hard to crochet with because you're using a big tree branch of a crochet hook my favorites four millimeter so can you imagine crystal recommends a 19 millimeter but I had an 18 millimeter knit pro 
in my stash and I figured that'll do. I'm not buying another hook. But yeah, it's big. Um, it did make my wrist sore and on average some balls were lighter. I got about eight rows to a ball. So I would do one ball, eight rows, and then I would rest today till I got it finished. But yeah, um, the old hippie in the house thinks it's kind of cool. And I might be able to get some photos that I'll put at the end of the video of the hippie wearing it. It might take a few beers to give him some encouragement. But that was my 70s yarn. I've always wanted to make this since Crystal released the tutorial. But I always thought the yarn was way too expensive. But when I picked it up for $2 a ball and friends gave me stuff, why not? Now, I know Australia, recently it was thrown out really cheap at $2. So if you have at least six balls of this in your stash, try this tutorial. Someone will love it. I know if my hairdresser sees a picture of that, she will want it because she wears this sort of stuff. It is really thick and warm, even though there are lots of, you get quite a holy pattern in it. It's still very warm and it's kind of, I don't know, quirky, I guess. So yeah, I really enjoyed that and I finally finished it. So thanks to Janice and my other friend for the extra yarn so I could make it. My other finished object is my Easter tea cozy, Mrs. Bunny. And there she is. Look, I haven't got a lot of finished objects because this is really involved. It's a lot of fiddly work, the head, the apron, the frills are made separate, you make the rows. This is the second time I've made this pattern. I think I made it a few years ago. It might be in an old video. The first one was better. It depends on the yarn you use. Now, I used Premier Everyday Yarn for the head, and I wouldn't use that again. I got a much finer head with the other yarn I used. And this orangey pattern yarn was yarn I bought in the UK in 2019. It's yarn from Poundland. Um, it's a three weight or eight ply yarn and it's quite fine. Look, they were easy to work with. Just the finished product didn't look as good as the yarn I used last time, which was a lot cheaper yarn. But there you have it, Mrs. Bunny. Mrs. Bunny is a pattern from Canada. Canada Helps, Knit a Wish. And it's for the Terry Fox Foundation and it's to raise money for cancer. And that's it there. If I can still find a link, that'll be in the description below. But yeah, it's quite fiddly and takes a lot of time. And I'm not into fiddly crochet. That's why my amigurumi for this yarn is going to have to be taking my time on or I'll rush it and ruin it. Um, so that was my finished objects. And... Um, in summary, one bad news this week, I got a copyright warning from YouTube on a very old video I did when I first started shopping trip to Japan. Someone claimed copyright on the music, 1 minute 58 seconds, the video is only 2 minutes long. Um, when I made that video and the package I used on my laptop, it was free, but this guy was claiming copyright and wanted it to be paid. YouTube gave me the offer of changing the music and supplied quite a bit of music to pick from. But I lost all the watch time on that video as part of the copyright warning. And there's no guarantee I'll get it back. It's unlikely. So if you have a spare minute, guys, please go back and watch my videos and give me my watch time back. I don't have very much watch time. I don't do lives and other things, just my yarn adventures. So, yeah. I lost watch time, which is a bit disappointing. But anyway, that's life. I fixed up the video. I wasn't paying him for 1, 1 minute 58 seconds or something that was way back when was free and now isn't. But yeah, I didn't get a copyright infringement from YouTube. They, they helped me fix it, but they can't guarantee that they can give me the watch time back. Um, a good news. We sold another four um, Gift of Love Tea Cozy patterns in March and that equates to $18. I'm going to absorb the fee and we'll make another small donation to Sharon's GoFundMe page for her wheelchair 
of $18. So thank you to everyone who bought a pattern. That's great. Um, we will get this wheelchair paid off in no time. Um, and that's the whole point. I have to come up with another idea now to raise some funds for that project. The brain is clicking over. I have got another um, project on the go that represents an Australian Easter, but it is really fiddly and um, I couldn't get eyes. That's why I finished Mrs. Bunny. Uh, when it's finished, I'll do another video and show you. Um, it is amigurumi and taking me a bit further outside my comfort zone of doing the octos, which I loved. I love doing it and I, every time I look at them I think of another octo I can do. Um, one of the best make-alongs I've taken part in this year. My kindness monster is looking a little drunk, he's falling over. <laughs> um, what else is there? Oh, I have been watching Madonna Ballard's um, Vita. They are so much fun. I love Madonna. She always cracks me up and makes me smile. So make sure you check out her Vitas if you need to put a smile in your day because she will make you smile and laugh. And I'll put a, a link to her first Vita. Some of them are really short. Today's was really short. But hey, it's still fun to watch her. I really enjoy them. Now, if you're inclined and um, you have that belief, could you please keep someone in your prayers? Marianne from Runaway Needle read, in her words, she's having so much trauma and drama at the moment and it's been going on for a while. It's affecting her health. And I would like us all to put her in our prayers and pray that the light at the end of the tunnel gets to her a lot quicker than it is. Um, I experienced a lot of trauma and drama last year and it was really hard some days just to keep going and it does affect your health so please if you're that way inclined put Marianne from Runaway Needle Red in your prayers and keep our Yanni sister healthy and make her get better um, there's not much else I can say if you celebrate Easter happy Easter um, we're not big on Easter but we do buy chocolate I love chocolate. Um, Reeves made me a fruit smoothie with the dragon fruits that are grown in the garden and the figs that I grow because he said you've got to have something healthy and you can't just live on chocolate. Who says I can't live on chocolate? There's no law. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it for today. Take care, stay safe, and make sure you have one very crafty day. Bye for now.